How's it going, and Welcome to Dead State Reanimated with me, Noble. Now, I went ahead and took care of the rest of this day. So, go ahead and end this one and start the next one up. Day 55. I found out this game goes to day 100, and I'm kind of thinking that... I'm, I'm guessing that when I get low on content, I'll probably uh, skip to another game, and then when I get to, like, day 100, I'll come back and, you know, do the final episode then, you know? But, uh, yeah, I mean, I was kind of like, 100 days? I'm only halfway through. Oh, crap, you know? Uh, I'm glad we've got 77 gallons. That's going to be very useful. 101 antibiotics, that's good. So, we got to try and pick up some more fresh food. That's the only problem. 1,919 is good on uh, preserved, but we still need more. 10 attackers, hmm. Okay, what do we got? What I don't get is uh, why a tough uh, bitch like yourself would listen to a worthless waste of space like that. Let him live uh, on a uh, crutch. Okay. It's Todd again. Todd, what are you doing? You're tearing this place apart. Todd offers spiritual guidance to people... Uh, here at the time uh, when the, we need it most. You of all people should be uh, talk to him. I'd rather listen to one of those uh, corpses than uh, this smiley bastard. I don't know uh, what happened to you, but talking to him uh, wouldn't couldn't hurt. What the hell's wrong with you people? To you. Hey. Or, hey, settle this. Will you? Uh, tell her uh, I'm right about who's uh, how worthless that preacher is. I would prefer if you did more than just preach, though. Uh, let's see. Uh, negotiation is important to you. Uh, we'll go leadership. I may not agree with Todd's beliefs, but clearly people need him. Not to, uh, not to you? Well, the hell is this? A convent? I, for one, am glad someone appreciates his presence at a time like this. Girls! Girls! Uh, let's see. Now, that's settled. I have to go. Hmm. Yes, it was only one. <laughs> Sometimes we get hit by, you know, 10 or 20 of these things. It's like, I just want the day to start. You know, half the episode is just dealing with uh, the conversation. Todd, were you listening to that conversation? Mm, no. Okay. Let me look at this real quick. Make sure there's nothing new I need to deal with. Nope. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Actually, it's probably a good idea for me to go ahead and switch these out. While I'm thinking about it. Stuff needs to go back on the truck anyway. Why am I, I about to say, why am I not moving? <laughs> what happened? I actually had to boost up, uh, before the episode started, uh, Gats and, uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, yeah, Sarah. She was, uh, sad and upset, and so was Gat. So I was like, okay, I need to make them happier. So it's making sure they didn't drop again on their, uh, mental status. Don't want them getting angry and leaving. Okay, so. We got all this to check out, plus a few of these locations, and all this to check out. So, it really comes down to top and bottom of the map. I'm going to open up uh, eventually a uh, map on my other screen over here so I can look and go, okay, I didn't get that location. Then I'll start hitting particulars at that point. Uh, let's see. Been there, there, there. Hmm. Paradise apartments were a little bit uh, misconceiving. I really feel I need to take the best gear I can on this one. Which means I need to get the Apocalypse Armor, I think, before I even try to go to uh, this place. 
Because I'm pretty sure this place is going to be overrun by either zombies or soldiers. Possibly uh, bandits or militia. I was about to say, I hope I brought the car, and I did. So we're heading for the dead end. Which I think was one of the locations that uh, I was asked to go to. <sighs> Man. I keep yawning. I'm very sorry about that, but... Maybe it's not as bad as I thought. Now, this place has multiple SUVs out front and a guy standing there with a gun. Neighbor. Hmm. I feel like things are going to go wrong. Let's talk to the neighbor. It's not my fault. It's not your fault. My neighbor's dog just just wouldn't shut up. Things being this way they are, I know it might sound crazy, but, you know, makes no excuse to be a bad neighbor. Yeah, actually, you shouldn't be shooting people's dogs because they're not loud. And he, he was always uh, listening to that radio. It's all I could hear. So I uh, go over to talk to him, and, and it, it's the dogs barking. One thing leads to another, I just shot the dog. How dare you shoot that dog, you know? And he comes running at me with a knife, so I shot him too. You're the wrong here. Don't take me an ulcer. I can't go back to jail. My Jenna's pregnant. Got me a good job uh, at her daddy's company. Everybody just take, take a step back. Take, t take another step back, buddy. We... <laughs> Vic! Vic, I need some assistance over here! <laughs> Vic's like, I get to do my job again! I get to do my job! Please don't take me back to jail! Man trails off mumbling to himself. Okay, um... Guess it's time to see what we can see. Hmm, I'm ready to put the rifle away. Somebody raided this house. There's a trail of breadcrumbs out the front door. No, Mr. Neighbor. Hmm. Well, the upstairs is a little blocked. Not exactly why he would barricade the first floor. Second floor makes more sense, because, you know... That'd be one thing I would recommend in a zombie apocalypse would be, you know, knock out the staircase, you know, up to your house, the second floor, and either use a ladder or some other form of something you can pull up and kind of basically seclude your first level of house to be just defense against zombies. I actually did that on uh, DayZ. Let me know if you want to see me play some DayZ. I could do that. Or not DayZ, um, oh, what is that game called? Unturned, not... Sorry about that. <laughs> what I meant was Seven Days to Die. I uh, played that, and whenever, you know, the first initial game, I would uh, knock out the staircase and basically use the second floor as um, a safe haven during the nights. Just protect us from uh, the possibility of being attacked by uh, the undead, especially on those seventh night uh, mega fights. I'm gonna rob your SUV now. I hope you don't mind. Was I able to go into that one? No, I didn't think so. Well, you definitely barricaded the windows to a certain degree. Let me know how this volume's going. I uh, recorded the last episode yesterday, but. You know, I haven't really listened to it yet, and I'm hoping it's a lot nicer. If it's still loud, let me know in the comments so I can fix this. Because last thing I want is, once again, blaring sounds. It's like, ah, too, too much. Hmm. 
No, no, you can you can keep the dumbbells. We don't need it. Now, Vic, can you take him in? Nope, okay. Well, time for us to head off on the dusty trail. Now, we still have room, so uh, let me get things resorted real quick. Okay, um, I feel like I want to risk going up to the 20 and then across to Albany and come back down. So let's do that. Just to see if we hit anything along the way. I'll keep my cursor nearby in this case. Oop. The RPG Codex. Uh, I'm going to guess this is a board game and a game store. I've been to several of them for D&D, &D, you know, getting new players' manuals and stuff like that. So, I'm going to guess that's what it means to RPG and not that it's some, like some gun store called RPG, which would be a lot more neat, but uh, I'm not going to think it's going to be it. I think we've got pretty much all the guns that are available in this game anyway. It's ITZ. It's coming. we got boards we can pick up over here. we barricaded all of this. Yep, a 1D20. Hmm. A few zombos outside. Come on, get us. We're not afraid. I want to see what these things say. Hail Codexia. This is the RPG Codex. I feel like this is something they're advertising for themselves as well. <laughs> I forgot to change him back to bows. Oh no, I don't have his bow on him. Oh, I must have put his bow away on accident. Mmm, that's not good. Um. Oh, I did not realize I forgot to equip certain people with certain gear. Fall down, please. Thank you. This could spell trouble for our intrepid heroes. Yeah, I totally messed up. I forgot that I somehow got rid of his bow and arrow. Why'd you do that? That was unnecessary movement. Pokemon. Walk you with a long stick. Stop resisting. Ooh, that's nice. Let's get Gats up in here. He's the pro with this anyway. Of course, I don't have one of this axe either. No. That's not enough points, so well.
One good poke deserves another. Good grief, this place is just surrounded. Let's go and get his axe reset. Only had him on the other thing because, you know, armor piercing. Wasn't any real use of me doing that any for longer. There we go. I like the champ you are. Who saw us? One more for the barber talk, our barber shop quartet. Ah, you're the one who saw us. Got you. We're not going to eliminate every zombie here. As much fun as it would be, I'm not. more potted meat. I just want to get around to where I can get to the truck without getting spotted. That guy might still spot me, but oh well. I think I hit the trash can already. I didn't. Hmm. Not exactly a shop I thought would be raided, but, you know, it's like, <laughs> I must get the last uh, 1d20 before the apocalypse. <laughs> Who knows, there might be somebody in here. Oh, there's a basement. Okay, let's get gas to the front line here. Shit. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. So what was it? Like a shotgun trap? Or did somebody just get executed? That's Paul, that's Gats, that's Vic. I'm not sure who shot that because none of my guys got hit either by the looks of it. I, I feel like someone's being executed. Okay, stalking basement dweller has been knocked down. Unwashed basement dweller. Uh, filthy bait. I feel like this is all insults to people who uh, play games. Alright. Yeah, it looks like it's just a roundabout execution room here. Those zombies upstairs are coming down. You know they're coming down. <laughs> I'm here to save lives and kick ass. Not particularly in that order. I feel like we need somebody to start defending against... Uh, possible zombie uh, outrage here. Come on. Get over there. Didn't like that too much, did you? They were just straight up going after their own people. They're not even caring about me right now. I'm just gonna... Here they come. Oh. 
you hit the gats. Oh, you you already messed up pretty bad here, buddy. here to see if anybody want to leave but nope Chuck Testa here they come I think the whole idea was this was basically a giant landmine as soon as I come downstairs these guys start shooting each other left and right and as soon as I come downstairs all those zombies that I didn't take care of come rushing in so luckily I took care of about half of them roughly Had to miss. Here they come. <laughs> it's like, well, we better clean up this mess before the zombies get down here. set up and get ready for uh, the upcoming zombies. Shit. They're finally here. Warning may we get rid of all these basement dwelling uh, murderers. Man had arrows. Basement dweller had chips, of course. No Mountain Dew, you know. <laughs> nope. Go ahead and stab him. Take everything we can. I actually came out of this pretty decent. Only bare minimum injuries from blunt force trauma. Man, for a bunch of quote unquote basement dwellers, they got a lot of good gear. A bunch of shotguns and sawed off shotguns. Yeah, this place is basically just an insult to anybody who plays gaming. Not just guys like me, but, you know, anybody who's uh, ever played a D&D &D game. It's pretty much the insult here. But whatever. Nope. Not that one. Not any room for that. I'll take everything but the bugs. Get out of here. Shit. Oh, there was more zombie. Okay. Well, that 
didn't pan out too well, did it? Um, yeah, you're not gonna have any room. I didn't mean to heal him. He's barely even hurt. That's what I meant to do. You're a bad man, Mr. Gats. And get in there and be completely useless because of this round. Sometimes it just doesn't pan out for us, you know? That worked a little bit, though. You two just hang out back there. We'll take care of the stabby pokey. Pokey. Take that. Any more baddies out of here? Plenty, but not any we're going to deal with. <laughs> uh, well, for a random location to go to, that wasn't too bad. And it brought us almost to an hour. Or, excuse me, almost to 30 minutes, so... Let's just at least find out where we're going to head to next. Oh, found down the lines. What's this? Bear Arms Gun Store. Funny feel we're going to find coyotes or something of that nature here. We're just going to look and see as long as we don't go into immediate combat. Oh, yeah, somebody has taken their time to free fortify this location. Yep, I think we might be dealing with some militia here. If it is, it's the first time we've fought militia. I'll have to make my decision whether or not I'm going to engage or not, because, I mean, technically, if I'm just attacking them to steal some stuff, then I'm a criminal. I'm not a hero, like I'm trying to be. You know, saving people. Uh, you know, there's been a few times that I've decided not to engage. I decided to leave and said, hey, these guys are living. They're doing their own thing. It's not us, but, you know, everybody has a right to live, you know. Now, if they're aggressive to me and off the bat, then I can't help but fight back. But if they're like, hey, you don't come over here and I'll, or I'll fight you, then I'm going to go ahead and leave, you know. <clears throat> anyway, so thank you everybody for stopping by and joining. If you liked it, hit that like, subscribe for future content. If you like it, drop a like and uh, comment down below. And, uh... Hit the bell icon if you feel like it. Anyway, till next time, take care, be safe out there, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.